Alright guys, I'm back, Deb, and today I have a few advent calendars for you. Now, these aren't the makeup calendars that we open and all this, but I thought these were a good suggestion for those of you who just want something extra or something, something with, to do with your husband every morning as Christmas comes or perhaps your best friend where you, you know, if you're across the country you can just have your best friend do theirs the same time you do yours and talk on the phone while you do it um kids grandkids that are at a distance that's a good thing to do too you know in these times it's hard to keep in touch but i bought these all three of these from amazon and every one of them was under twenty dollars so i just kind of thought we'd, we'd open them up and see what we get Did, I'm going to need my glasses for this because you know how that goes. I'm going to try not to. This one's cute. This is, um, see? It says, Joyous Christmas. And which one is this? Oh, this is organic green tea. Well, this is the tea ones. Let's see if we can open it up. I don't know if these are the cups or if they're loosely. I don't know. But I will leave the link to all these down below and the amount. Excuse my. I gotta remember to do this so I don't shine you out. Um, cause I, yeah, my glasses are real and I need them to read these little small prints. I'm okay for everyday vision. And we'll just stick that behind the cushions and I'll just take them all out of here at once. And this has. 25 T. So you start on the first and then you got it right up until Christmas. And this is from the English Tea Shop and it says Happy Holiday. Oh yeah, they're tea bags. No, actually they're loose leaf. But they come hmm. Yeah, I guess you could just use that bag, but it's a normal loose leaf tea. You could either open the bag or you could just use it in that bag, I would assume. Nice. And it tells you on directions on the how to brew it for the best optimal organic green tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, clover, nutmeg, pepper, and pomegranate. Well, that's a combination. I believe every day is a different tea. I'm not sure. But they do have them all in order straight across, so that's helpful. Okay. And it. This is spicy pumpkin. And it tells you what's all in it, but. Ooh, this one's that. Organic green tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, star anise, nutmeg, and black pepper. Let's see what number three is. I'm just going to say the names. And then peppermint melon. Interesting. This is organic green tea with cinnamon, peppermint, and licorice. I don't like licorice, but I will give it a try because, you know, then day number four, as you see, is ginger cloves and star anise, which to me, anise tastes like licorice itself, so. I don't know how it tastes in tea. And this flavor is black tea, honey and melon, licorice, cinnamon, and cloves. I don't know why they would call it honey and melon. It don't have no honey or don't have no melon. But that's okay, cause, and I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe there's two different things on here so I think once you drink the tea you're supposed to turn it this way to get a different 
book. So, yeah, on this, this one, they're not all labeled, but they do go in a row, so that's nice. Yeah, see, every one of them's got two pictures on them, so I'm thinking that's what you do with this. And this flavor is Sleigh Ride. And it's cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and pepper. I've never heard of pepper and tea before either, so that would be interesting. This flavor, number seven's flavor is breakfast special. And it just says organic sealing black tea. So we're getting into basically the real teas because green tea is not a real tea. It's made like a tea. That's why they call it tea. Um, this one is Silent Night. Number eight is Silent Night. And it's green tea with cinnamon, ginger, peppermint, and rose petals. And I like the smell of roses, but I've never eaten roses, so that'll be a new thing for me, too. See, all these flavors I've never tasted. I'm kind of an old-fashioned cinnamon, ginger kind of girl. And this one is Holiday Blend. And it's black tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, Nutmeg, pepper, and orange. And we're on number 10, so we're almost halfway done with this one. Okay, number 10 is Gingerbread Man. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's organic. All these are organic, so I'm going to quit saying organic. Okay, black tea with Cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and apple. Oh, that sounds good. That one does sound really good. Eleven is uh, black tea with ginger, rosebud, and cinnamon. No. Rule bus or something like that. I can't say it, but I really can't see it. At 11, 12 is, if you know a tea lover, this would be great. And I don't think, it, I don't think this was even quite $15, so, but I will put up here how much it was. Um, this one is, the name is Candy Cane, and it has pepper, peppermint herbal tea with green tea. And green tea with orange, cinnamon, roasted chicory, and vanilla. Who knew there were so many different kinds of teas in the world? Well, I'm sure a lot of you did, but, you know. Happy Holiday. It's green tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, pepper, and pomegranate, which is what we had the first time. In the first door. So let's see if they're just repeating. Because if they're just repeating, we'll be done here. Hope my hat's not too distracting because I forgot to turn it on in the last video. Um, yeah, we're spicy pumpkin. I believe we've had that before too. Yeah, I think I think they're just after that they're just repeats. So let's go down here to number 25 and see what's in 25. Um Savory blend. I guess there are some different ones in here. This one has black tea and cinnamon, apple, licorice, orange, and rose hip and vanilla. That must have been what that other one was, rose hip, that I couldn't read. So, yeah, you get 25, and they're all in the bags. So you can use the tea bags, or you can use your own diffuser, you know. If you have your own tea ball, you can use it, but you can use these tea bags too. 
which is great because if you're giving it as a gift, you don't know if they have that or not. You know, some people really love tea and they don't even have a diffuser. They just use the tea bag. So, but anyway, there's what it looks like. And it, this becomes a totally, totally different picture when you've used them all because there's two pictures on there. So you can kind of go through and see what it is towards the end. Now this one is probably going to be my favorite, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this one I got, and of course they got my label on it, but it doesn't matter because I only have a P.O. box. I, I live in Mayberry, and yes, I have to get up very early to get my mail because I have to go down there and get packages. I have no way of getting packages after, I believe it's 11 o'clock, but the guy that's there now, he usually stays until exactly 11, but that used to be just, just, you know, a guess. And this is what we got, and this is what this one is, and these are good. This is hot chocolate. I believe this is my hot chocolate. Yeah, this is all, these are Land of Lakes hot chocolate. Now, I used to sell these individual pouches at my grocery store, but they don't anymore at my Kroger's. And they don't anymore because we have a small, small Kroger's. But there are, I believe, 12 in here. I believe. And I, it kind of looks like they might all be different. But I love these and put real whipped cream on them. And it's just like, oh my God, you just want to die. These Land Lakes are the best hot chocolate. But this one is uh, raspberry. And raspberry and chocolate, hot chocolate, which I guess it's kind of a given. What it is? Here's my glasses right here by my, so I can read these too. Yeah. And then we have French vanilla and chocolate, hot chocolate. And of course I did my usual drop one. There's two. This one is. Chocolate Supreme Hot Chocolate, and it looks like this. Hazelnut and Chocolate Hot Chocolate. I don't know if the Chocolate Hot Chocolate means they add extra chocolate to it. Then, Salted Caramel and Chocolate Hot Chocolate. And again, I keep forgetting. Ooh, that one's my favorite. So I'm gonna put it last. Okay, here's mocha and chocolate hot chocolate. Looks like this. It's good stuff. And it's cinnamon and chocolate hot chocolate. And butterscotch and hot chocolate. And Irish cream and hot chocolate. And car caramel and hot chocolate and my absolute favorite I used to buy these and I'd pay like a dollar for just one of these because they were so so good but this is mint hot chocolate you get this and you put real whipped cream on it and oh my god instant Christmas I'm just telling you so how many do we get from this one I don't remember one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, eleven. I must have miscounted. I must have miscounted. Yep, I got eleven. I must have dropped one somewhere. Because I believe there was supposed to be twelve. I will check on that and I will write it on the screen here and I will write the price on here. But yeah, this is instant Christmas mint. Ah, and that mint is to die for. I'm telling you, if you can just get, oh, it's to die for. Love it, that's one of my all time favorites. Okay, then I just got this one. And this is a chocolate advent calendar and I believe these are just little pieces of chocolate. I was going to send this to the great-grandson so he could have a piece of candy every night before he went to bed. And maybe Mommy could tell him, you know, a family story or a tradition along with a piece of candy every night before he went to bed. I thought that would be great. Oh, and it comes with a poem. 
Prepare for Christmas by opening one window each day until Christmas Eve. Be sure to open windows in numerical order 1 to 24. Upon opening each window, find a wonderful piece of gourmet chocolate and a verse from Twas the Night Before Christmas. Read the verse, then savor the chocolate. And I do have... Eight servings per container. Serving size is three pieces. And there's only 50 calories in three pieces. Which I would have thought would have been way, way more. But by the time you open it up, it's, it does the twas the night before Christmas. But I don't know if I've told you, but my husband, my husband, my son, um, just a year or so ago went to Louisiana. Before that, he was stationed in Fairbanks, Alaska which is like a half hour from North Pole, Alaska. And I have a Twas the Night Before Christmas book, heirloom book, from the North Pole, the real North Pole, North Pole, Alaska. And the town was so cute. You got us, you know, they had their street lights were all painted as candy canes. They had ice sculptures in the wintertime all the time. And that S-A-N-T-A -A has now died. But he was the real Santa, you know, because he lived in the North Pole. But this man was fantastic. And he was there year-round. That was his year-round job. He was there year-round. And he had the patience of a saint. And when you went in the summertime, he was, you know, posing with you know, the muscles with the kids. And he was um, just spectacular, like nothing I have ever seen. And he, he, him and his wife owned the place. I don't know if they owned the place or just worked there, but they both worked there. And they both ran it. And in the wintertime, they had a ice sculpture thing that you could go through. Oh, it, it was just magical. I'm telling you, it's magical. Of course, in Fairbanks, Alaska, you know, at Christmas time, there's always at least a foot or two on the ground of snow. So it was, it was just magical. I loved it. I'm not a winter person, but I'll be honest with you, I love Fairbanks in the winter. I did love it. So anyway, if you like what you see here, feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And while you're there, feel free to subscribe because we love to have you as part of our familia. You know, everybody else talks about your family. Oh, honey, here we're, we're an out-and-out -out mafia, honey. Uh, and while you're there, ring that bell, and I'm going to tell you when we're having our next video so you don't miss a thing. Bye.